Welcome to Beach Kids Online. My name is Courtney. Can you tell me your name? That is such an awesome name. I am so excited that you are here to worship with us. We have so many fun things in store today. First, we're gonna dance and sing and praise God because we love him so much. Second, we're gonna hear a true story from the Bible. And then third, we're gonna pray and we're gonna talk to the one true God. If you're ready to worship the one true God, I want you to give it a shout. I can't hear you. A little bit louder. <gasps> Fabulous. I'm excited to worship God too. Let's worship him together now. In the beginning, God made everything. Everything. In the beginning, God made everything. Everything. Yeah. 
from my ears to my nose. He made it. He made it. Every fish on the sea, all the leaves on the trees. He made it. He made it. Come on, say from my head to my toes, from my ears to my nose. He made it. He made it. Yeah. Say every fish in the sea, all the leaves. God made everything? Who made everything? God made everything. Everything in our world we see, from the trees, to the birds, to the ocean, to the people, like our moms and dads, God made everything. When we read in the Bible, there's a book called Genesis. And in the book of Genesis, we can learn this verse. It says this, God saw everything he made and it was very good. Can you do that with me? We're gonna point up and we're gonna say, God, got it? And then we're gonna say, saw everything he made, you got it, and it was very good. Perfect. Let's try it all together on the count of three. One, two, three. God saw everything he made and it was very good. Great job, friends. That's from Genesis chapter one, verse 31. Now, I told you at the beginning that we do three things. It's time for our second thing. It's time to go to the clubhouse and hear a true story about something that God made. Let's go together and check it out. But first, I need you to call Ollie with me. Are you ready? One, two, three. Ollie! Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story. My uncle gave me these super awesome blocks. Guess what? They flew. I'm going to build a super tall tower right on top of the water. How high do you think we can go? Let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, do you think we can try one more? Shout if you think I should try one more. Okay, here it goes. Seven, whoa! That was so much fun. There are many fun things we can do in the water. Things like swimming. Put your arms out and pretend to swim with me. Swish, swoosh, swish, swoosh, swish, swoosh. Oh, and I know something else that we can do in the water. Take a bath, splish splash, it's time for a bath. Playing in the water is so great. You can even play tag and squirt your friends with water. Playing with water is so fun. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Hayden. Who? Who? Playing games with water, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. I love playing with water. I love water, too. It's true. God made it just for me and you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, Stormy Jane, are you thirsty? There's your bowl of water. Good girl. 
Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. She loves ice cold water. Raise your hand if you drink water. <laughs> we all need water. And there is a lot of water in our story today and I cannot wait to get started. If you're ready to hear a true story from the Bible, wave your hands in the air like this. <laughs> I think Stormy wants to hear a story too. So let's get started. Whoa, what just happened? Where did everything go? Well, that is actually where our story starts, in the very beginning. In the very beginning, there was nothing. There was no light, there were no houses, or people, or trees, or even dirt for plants to grow in. You're right, Stormy. There were no dogs or other animals. It was empty. There was nothing. But God was there. On day one, when God began creating the world, God said, let there be light. And there was light. The whole world was filled with beautiful, dazzling, shimmery light. God looked at all of that amazing light and saw that it was good. Can you say, it's good? Ready? It's good. God separated the light from the dark. God called the light day and the dark night. And that's why we have daytime and nighttime. What's the very first thing we do in the daytime? <laughs> that's right. Oh, we wake up uh, and get ready for an amazing day of work and play. And after a long full day, what do we do at nighttime? <laughs> That's right, Stormy, we get sleepy. So God gave us the nighttime to sleep and rest. On day one, God made light and dark. But do you think that God was finished? <laughs> no way, God was just getting started. On day two, God made a place for the deep, cool water below and created the wide blue sky above the whole world. That's a good idea, Stormy. Let's remember what God made. On day one, God made light and dark. And on day two, God made a place for the water below and the amazing sky above. Wow, only God can do that. God is so creative and so powerful. God made everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God made light and dark and sky above water, all for me and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, first God made light and dark, and then God made the sky above the water. God made everything. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I'm going to try to make my tower even taller before it splashes in the water. See you next time. One, two. What an amazing true story. God made everything. Who made everything? God made everything. That's right, friends. All month long, we're going to stack up those days so we can learn all about all the creation that God made. It's time for us to talk to God. So can you put your hands together like this? We call talking to God praying. I'm gonna close my eyes so I can focus on talking to God. You can too if you want. Repeat after me. Say, dear God, thank you for making me. Help me to remember that you made everything and it is very good. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, friends. 
I love spending this time with you. It's time for us to go out into the world and follow Jesus. I'll see you next time, friends. Goodbye.